A defining California law carved out more than 60 years ago to enhance urban areas is now wiped from the books. In its place, legislation now in effect to dissolve all the state's redevelopment agencies. At the time of their dissolution, there were almost 400 redevelopment agencies in the state and about 98 percent of those redevelopment agencies shared a governing body with their local jurisdiction. In 1945, the California State Legislature adopted the Community Redevelopment Law, creating redevelopment agencies in California. On January 20, 2011, Governor Jerry Brown proposed to eliminate it to close a $25 billion deficit. On June 28, 2011, the legislature adopted two bills, Assembly Bill 26 and 27. Assembly Bill 26 had two essential components. One was a freeze component whereby the redevelopment agencies couldn't do any new contracts or activities. And the second was a dissolution component whereby the redevelopment agencies would actually be terminated. Assembly Bill 27 was the saving provision whereby the redevelopment agencies could continue to exist if they allocated certain portions of their funds to certain state agencies. On December 29, 2011, the California Supreme Court reached a decision in California Redevelopment Association versus Mato Santos. In the case, the plaintiffs challenged both AB 26 and AB 27, calling them unconstitutional. The court decided that AB 26 was constitutional, but AB 27 was not. AB 26 went into effect on February 1, 2012. All the redevelopment agencies were dissolved by operation of law and all of their assets and liabilities were transferred to successor agencies that are tasked with winding up the affairs of the redevelopment agencies. Anyone who has an existing contract, disposition development agreement, owner participation agreement, uh, exclusive negotiating agreement that was in effect as of June 28th of 2011, that contract is still in effect. They can't continue to make new obligations to give additional money. They can honor existing obligations. Exclusive negotiating agreements are a little bit different because you have to negotiate for a further commitment from the agency. That was not possible to do during the period from June 28th until February 1st. For those clients it's very important to um, start a dialogue immediately with the successor agency whether that be um, the city or the county or a specially appointed successor agency about what the disposition of that property is going to be. There is a lot of uncertainty left as to how individual jurisdictions, individual cities and counties are going to implement the legislation and what effect it will have on individual projects. So I think going forward um, over the next couple weeks or months, some of that uncertainty is going to be resolved by the legislature and also on the local level by the actions of cities and council counties themselves. The implications to individual projects, urban development and the environment are up in the air.